It's kind of like a smoke detector, but instead of a fire, this new technology is aimed at identifying anger. Those so-called aggression detectors are already being eyed by some school districts as a way to prevent mass shootings. But how will they work? NBC4's Kim Baldonado reports. It looks like a small smoke alarm, but what's inside is designed not to detect smoke, but aggressive behavior. Aggression detection is really a piece of software that works inside a microphone. Richard Brent is CEO of Lou Row Electronics. Based in Van Nuys, it specializes in audio monitoring technology, including aggression detection. People were gravely concerned about um, bad behavior. Uh, belligerent activity in the workplace, in the schoolyards. Brent says the device can detect violent behavior before it happens by listening not for words but for changes in a person's voice. When I get mad, I get angry, and when I get angry, I physiologically tighten up. It is the stress in your voice that we're listening to. That vocal stress is shown on a computer screen, which can be monitored by a security officer or designed to set off an alarm. Hey! and then triggering a response from a security team. The investigative journalism nonprofit ProPublica did its own testing and came up with several false alarms. Brent says their clients must undergo training before using the technology, which he doubts the ProPublica tester did. I don't know that he had the full gamut of what it takes to technically test out that mic. Some school districts are already using Lou Rose aggression detection, but Brent admits it's not effective in cases where an attacker walks in and opens fire without any prior outburst as we've seen happen in recent mass shootings. No, I wish it did. You know, if we had a panacea, boy, I'd give it away. He adds aggression detection is designed to be one tool in the fight against violent acts. In Van Nuys, Kim Baldonado, NBC4 News.